How's it going guys? My name is Gingy and welcome back to another episode of Forza Science. Today we are testing to see if a full roll cage will help or hurt the performance of your car on a racetrack and the drag strip. Now we're going to be using two different cars for this. The Subaru for the racetrack and some uh, muscle car for the drag strip. I don't, I haven't decided that yet. For the racetrack, I'm going to be doing five laps without any roll cage. And then I will be doing five laps with the roll cage. And then we can compare the two best laps. Same thing for the drag race. I will be doing five quarter miles without the roll cage and five quarter miles with the roll cage. And we will compare the best times. Now, there are a couple obvious things here. Um, roll cages are heavier, but they do help stiffen the chassis of your car. So it's it it kind of it that that's the thing that's why we're testing it because we don't know if the weight is too much or if the the stiffness is helpful you know we don't know that so that's why we're testing this now I also understand that this is not the most scientific um, lots of driver error possibilities and every car is different in this game so whatever we're kind of doing this for fun but also just out of curiosity so now we can start all right. Let's do this shit. Yeah, power. Now we all know the first lap isn't going to be the fastest cuz we're going from the dig, but whatever, we can still have fun. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to do some editing magic and we're just going to fast forward until I hit the best lap. For any of you wondering why I always do Laguna Seca, it's because I'm good at it. This is the one map that I've had a lot of practice on because I've filmed a lot of testing videos like this on here. So I know it very well and I, I'm very good at it. It's the least likely for me to frick up. I mean, look at these corners. This car is just, uh, it's a very good car. No! That entire lap just down the drain. That's the thing about uh, racing on a circuit. Uh, well, good thing we've got five chances. And as long as we have our backs, we never are forced to buy. This time, we will win. This time. I really need a racing wheel. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have bought parts for. Uh, the Miata should have bought a racing wheel because it that helps so much with this kind of stuff. This is the last lap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think this is the quickest one so far. We're going to be crossing the line at 142. 142, come on, come on. Yes! 142.689. All right, that was the fastest lap without the roll cage. 142.689. Let me write. Where'd my phone go? Oh, there it is. It's on the ground. Um, well, let me write this shit. Damn, boys. Oh, I got a, I got a spin too. All right. Come on, get me that. 150 grand. Oh, 75 is decent. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna come over here to the platform and handling, roll cage, and race chassis reinforcement roll cage. Here we go. Now, uh, it does drop our um, class, or our, our level by three. Um, it adds 100 pounds, but it's uh, it balances out the weight and it says it increases handling and braking. So, okay, um, we'll see what happens. Let's Let's do this shit. Five laps with the roll gauge. Let's do this shit. Well, that was interesting. Like I said, the first lap is never the fastest, though, so whatever. Does not matter. Now, I'll try to tell you if I feel any difference. Um, it does actually feel a little more responsive. Um, that might just be me. Well, I might just be making that up. It might be uh, just a mental thing because I think that it should be doing something but it might not uh, but it does it does feel uh, more responsive it definitely does this is our kingdom and we won't run tonight we are castles and dragons the battle begins tonight are you with me I almost feel like I'm carrying a lot more speed through these corners uh, that might just be me yet again but um I also kind of feel like I'm a little more sluggish in the straightaways, and that would all really make sense. That's kind of what the roll cage is supposed to be doing, so I might actually be doing shit. Um, that first lap was bad, though. This is our kingdom, and we won't ride tonight. We are a tear. We can do anything together if we just try. And as long as we have our backs, we'll never our faults come by. This time. Oh. 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 143 for the second lap. It's close. It's very close. We will win. This time we'll have to join forces. This time we will win. This time we'll have to join forces. I almost feel like it understeers a little bit more with the uh, roll cage as well. Might just be me though. <laughs> about to cross the line I think lap two is our quickest 143.3 all right well the uh, roll cage it didn't help it definitely did not help without the roll cage we got a time of 1 minute 42 seconds 0.689 and with the roll cage we got a time of 143.327 so it was roughly seven tenths of a, a second slower which is just is a pretty good pretty good amount this is what I think. The roll cage definitely did its job, and it, it really stiffened up the chassis of the Subaru. Now, that made it a lot more responsive. I could turn in a little bit quicker. It, it felt more responsive to the controls I was putting into it. But the problem was, with this all-wheel drive system, stiffer chassis also means more understeer, and I definitely noticed that. Another thing that I noticed is that in the straightaways, the extra 100 pounds, it did kind of hold the car back just a tad. Um... So it might be better with a different type of drivetrain, but we don't really know. Um, that's why I'm saying we will have to test this again, but for this specific car, no roll cage is definitely faster. Now for the drag car testing, we are gonna be using this beast, 2013 Ford Shelby GT500 with 1,000 horsepower, 700 foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs 3,000 pounds. 
actually make that 2,900 because I actually already had the uh, chassis uh, or the roll cage on there and I just took it off. So, yes. Quarter miles, let's do this shit. All right, quarter mile in the Shelby with no roll cage. Let's do this. Okay, that was awful. I gunned it way too hard on the launch. <laughs> Nine seconds. Okay, yeah. No, I... I, I, whew, I, I gotta be careful there. It's the nerves. Holy fuck, this thing is fast. God damn. 8.77, okay. Ah, so that wasn't the best launch. 8.8, .8, okay. A little, a little slower. I think that launch was a little better, possibly. 8.79, nope, that was 0.02 seconds slower. It just has too much power. <laughs> it's chirping second and gear, second gear too. Okay, 8.79 again. Um, all right, I think we get one more chance, right? Shit, nope, sorry, that was our last chance actually. Um, so. With no roll cage, the car ran 8.77 on its best best shot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come over here and drop that race chassis reinforcement slash roll cage. Aye, mate. So for this car, I also have noticed that it actually upped the level by um, three instead of made it go down. So that's that's kind of cool. Better launch there. And 8.74, boom, it already beat it. Would you look at that. Now, can we do it again? That is the question. Um, hmm, oh. No, no, the answer is no. It was a decent launch. Can we, can we, can we? 8.74 again. Boom. Can we do it for a third time? Well, that launch was really good. And 8.79. Okay, I guess it wasn't. See, see, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes spinning the tires a little bit's good. With that being said, I don't think this is going to be a good time either, because I kind of bogged down. Yep, 8.9. Okay, well, that's fine, because the, the roll cage still won on this one. Without the roll cage, this beast ran an 8.77. And with the race roll cage, this beast ran an 8.74. So that is 0 0.03 of a second's difference. So, I mean, that's not much. So, we've learned two things from this video today. Um, we haven't solved all the mysteries, but we've learned two things. One, on an all-wheel drive car, on the racetrack, roll cage isn't necessarily the best thing. Increases understeer, decreases speed in the straights. Now, on a rear-wheel drive, heavy muscle car that's going in a straight line, that, you know, like I said, it's heavy, it's got lots of power, lots of pressure going through the body or tension whatever however you want to say it that roll cage that stiffens the chassis really does help it makes the launch a little bit better and it the car can just handle the power better so all-wheel drive circuit no roll cage you don't want it real drive drag strip yeah go for it dude go for it and with that guys i'm gonna thank you so much for watching if you want, you can check out my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all in the description below or right in front of your eyes. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really do enjoy making these, and I'm glad that there are people out there that watch my videos every single day. The support has been phenomenal. So, keep it up, guys, and I'll keep it up here.
Um, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.